You don't own Windows, but you do own your copy, your one copy of Windows. There's been this theme that's popped up in my comments a lot on my Windows 11 Must Be Stopped video, which I covered in the sequel, but I need to cover it a little bit more here, because it won't stop happening, and it's driving me just a little bit insane. People keep saying, Hey, you don't own software, it's licensed! That means you don't have any ownership of software, you've never owned software because software is licensed! No, that's not true. Calm down. If you walk out to the store right now, and you buy a box, and it has a disk in it, and you run that disk on your computer and install its contents to your computer, you own the software. You own your copy of the software. This is not just some random opinion from some weirdo libertarian computer nerd. This is actually enshrined in the law. In fact, if you go to the trouble to look it up, in copyright law, you have ownership of the software you purchase. I'm going to do something crazy here. I'm actually looking at copyright.gov. Under section 117, you are the legal owner of the copy. It literally says on copyright.gov, you are the owner of the original copy. The issue that seems to come up stems from a lack of understanding of what ownership actually means and what licensing actually is. When you are licensed software, the license is a contractual agreement between you and the software publisher. When you own something, you possess it, you control it. Licensing and ownership are not the same thing. Ownership is control. Licensing is an agreement. If you control something, you can do things with it that violate the agreement. Oh sure, the agreement might say that you can't, you might have agreed not to, but you're still capable of doing so. In the case of software license agreements, if they say, for example, you're not allowed to use this software to in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. If you happen to use your copy of iTunes to manufacture nuclear weapons, somehow, then your ownership of your copy means that, hey, guess what? You did it. They didn't stop you. They couldn't stop you because you own your copy. But what about the license? I'll tell you about the license. If Apple gets wind that you've used your copy of iTunes to manufacture nuclear weapons, A, they're probably not going to find out, and if you're manufacturing nuclear weapons in your tiny studio, then you might have bigger problems such as glowing in the dark or being dead. But assuming you didn't atomically microwave yourself, and somehow it's a problem for Apple, the contract spells out certain remedies that Apple can pursue. If you violate the agreement that you made with Apple, then by the agreement you can be legally forced to delete the copies that you have of iTunes. But that's because of the agreement. The truth of the matter is that unless somebody forcibly comes in there and deletes the stuff from your machines and destroys all your copies, you still own your copy. This ownership thing goes further than just this theoretical iTunes nuclear manufacturing example. If your software has mandatory product activation, you own your copy, but it's useless. Because if you try to use your copy and they don't activate it for you, it's a brick. It's a bunch of code that's not actually usable to you. You still own it, but <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Now, so far, this has been a very technical discussion. You own the software, but you can't use it. So, in practical terms, you don't own it. This is the difference between the technical and the real world, the practical. Do not make the mistake of thinking that I'm saying you own Windows, for example, when you own your copy of Windows. Analogies for physical things are really not that great when it comes to digital stuff and intellectual property, but hear me out. This is a remote control for my lights. This remote control, I own this copy of the remote. Now, pretend it's a file, but it's the same general idea. I own this remote. I don't own everything required to manufacture the remote. I don't own the design. I don't own the patents. I don't own anything other than this one specific copy of the remote control. 
What people are doing is saying that by me owning this one remote, by me having this remote and saying, I own this, this remote is mine, they're somehow extrapolating that out to Jody owns all the remotes. Just like you don't own Windows, the source code, everything involved to get Windows to your doorstep, you don't own Windows, but you do own your copy, your one copy of Windows. Oh man, he owns all of them. What just went over my head? Hey, sponsor block extension users. This is where I ask people to like and comment and subscribe and all that crap. Another thing, if you're complaining about the ads that I put on my videos, turn on that pesky ad block. Please, everyone who complains about ads, I don't know what's wrong with you. Put uBlock Origin in every browser you have and stop whining. Otherwise, give me money. I want all your money. I gotta pay for this studio somehow. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you have any suggestions for future topics, leave them in the comments below and tell me what you thought about this video.